Welcome to another video from Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you seven different methods to remove duplicates in Excel. In other words, seven different methods to create a unique list of records from a data set. Take a look at this sample data here. For the ease of understanding, I have highlighted some of the repeating records in different colors. For example, record 101 Snickers Tony 1650. This particular record can be seen five times in this data set. Again, record 245 Mars Peter 3190. This particular record is appearing four times in this data set. So let me show you my first method to remove duplicates from a data set, which is using remove duplicates feature. For that, I will copy this data, right click, copy, will paste it here. Right click, paste. Now to remove duplicates from this data set, once again select the data, go to the data tab, click on remove duplicates. The dialog for remove duplicates is activated. My data has headers. Click OK. Eight duplicate values found and removed, seven unique values remain. Okay. See the duplicate records are all gone. The second method to remove duplicates is using advanced filter. To create a unique list of records from this data, other ways to remove the duplicates from this data. In the data tab, click on advanced. The dialog for advanced filter is activated. First option is list range. Select the data. Mark the checkbox for unique records only. Select the radio button for copy to another location. Click on the app arrow against the label copy to. Now select the cell where you want to insert the data. I will go with the cell G4. Click on this down arrow. OK. And we have a unique list of records from this data set. In other words, duplicate records are all gone. The third method is using a formula equal if function open parenthesis count if function open parenthesis first argument of count if function which is range select the first cell of the data which is b3 click on the formula bar full colon once again select the same cell b3 now to fix this cell reference, other ways to make this cell reference absolute, select the cell reference, press the function key F4, see the cell reference has become absolute, comma, for criteria, once again select the cell B3, close parenthesis, equal 1, comma, double quotes, once again double quotes, comma, to display the text duplicate when a record is appearing more than one time, double quotes, type in duplicate, once again double quotes, close parenthesis and press the enter key. Now copy the formula into the downward cells. See this cell here. When this record, record triple three is appearing for the second time, the text duplicate is displayed against it. Again record 245. The text duplicate is displayed against its second, third and fourth appearances. Now to remove the duplicate records, select this column, filter, click on this filter button, select all, select duplicate, OK. Select the rows containing duplicate records, right click, delete row. Click on filter and the duplicate records are all gone. The fourth method is using unique function. Note that for the time being unique function is only available for those who have Office 365 subscription. To create a unique list of records from this data, equal unique function, open parenthesis, first argument array, 
select the data and press the enter key and we have a unique list of records from this data. The fifth method is using a macro. Let me show you the macro to remove duplicates. Go to the developer tab, Visual Basic. And here is the VBA code for removing duplicates from a selected data range. See the name of the macro, delete duplicates. To execute the macro, macros, delete duplicates, run, select a range, we'll select the data set, okay, see the address of the selected data range, when I click okay, a new worksheet is created which contains the unique list of records from the selected data range. Next method is using pivot table. To create a pivot table from this data, select the data, go to the insert tab, pivot table, from table slash range, existing worksheet, select the location where you want to insert the pivot table, I will go for the cell G2, ok. We have a pivot table here. Now see the column header of the first column which is record. Drag and drop this field called record into the area for rows. And we have a unique list of records from the first column. Now the field called product, then sales rep, then sales. To remove these buttons, click on buttons. Now to transpose this data, equal transpose function, select these four cells and press the enter key. Now copy these cells, right click, copy, select these cells, right click, paste, select these four columns. Right click, copy, insert a new sheet, paste the copied data here, right click, paste as values. To remove the blank rows, select the columns, data, filter, click on the filter button, select all, blanks, ok, select the blank rows, right click, delete row. Click on the filter button and we have the unique list of records. In other words, duplicate records are all gone. Anyway, I don't recommend this method when we have data in more than one column. The seventh method to remove duplicates is using Power Query. To remove duplicates from this data using Power Query, select any of these cells here. In the data tab, click on from table slash range. Create table dialog is activated. My table has headers. OK. The selected data is loaded into the Power Query editor. Now to remove duplicates from these records, in the home tab, remove rows, remove duplicates. See the duplicate records are all gone. Now to load this data into an excel worksheet, close and load, close and load to existing worksheet, select the cell where you want to insert the table. I will go with this cell H3. Click OK. Again, we have a unique list of records from this data set. Otherwise, duplicate records are all gone. So, these are my seven methods for removing duplicates from a data set. 
there may be more methods if you know a method other than this please do mention in the comment section also if you have enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any video releases thanks for watching wish you a great day